Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. Do you want to take your blog post to the next level? Today, I'm going to show you how to replace your standard post header with a custom one using Cadence theme hooked elements and ACF true false fields. Get ready to make your site look unique and professional. We will be diving into Cadence hooked elements to create a dynamic header that changes based on your content. And don't worry, it's simpler than it sounds. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to customize your headers like a pro making your website stand out from the crowd. So let's jump in and get started. Advanced Custom Fields is a WordPress plugin that makes it possible for designers and developers to offer more sophisticated user-friendly websites to their clients. Cadence supports ACF Custom Fields plugin to display dynamic content. And general speaking, dynamic content is any content entered on your site that's not static content. And because I will be using dynamic content inside of the Cadence hooked element, I will also need to use the Cadence Steam Pro plugin since this plugin features hooked elements. I will be combining with dynamic content created with ACF plugin to create my header post template that can be hooked across the website. All right. So this is my podcast website, which I, imp I have imported from the Cadence Starter Templates. And I have a custom post type called podcasting. To view this on the front end, we got this layout, this design layout. At the back end, I have already set up a true false ACF field type, which I called condition or check to activate which is associated with episode custom post type. And once it has been saved, you can easily find the toggle option here. Right now, activate it, which means we will be ready to be displayed at the front end. To do this work, we need to make a cadence element, which loads a custom post header template in place that will show up only if, if the ACF toggle is set to true. To start off, open cadence elements and make sure that the hooked elements is turned on and then open cadence elements, add a new cadence element. You will see four element types, the content section, the fixed section, the template and the HTML editor. The content section lets you build the element using the customizer blocks. The fixed section allows you to create content that is fixed to your site, as the name suggests. And I will be using the template option, which lets me to make a template that replace my post header. So click on the template, give it a meaningful name, and now click on the element settings located at this icon near the top right. And now let's configure the element's behavior by selecting where it should show up. So first things, I want to set the preview settings by clicking here, select episode, Select a specific one, let's say this one, and close. Next, we have the placement configuration. And so for me, I will use this option to replace the header. Under the display settings, I want to show them on single episode. And then we select the podcast, we can specify an individual post. So I set individually and then select. I go with this introducing four business ideas and there is no exclusion. So it's to display it on the entire website to all users. And now we start designing our custom post header. So switch 
to the Cadence Design Settings page and we begin by having a Cadence Row and I will be using in a second the Cadence Row Conditional Display feature to control the display conditional based on the ACF True False field set up previously. Choose a row layout block with the two equal column. I have already designed the header to the left column. I have put the heading, the subheading with a clear call to action and to the right column image. Consider using responsive controls for font sizes. Since Cadence 3.0 version, you find these six controls in every block, allowing you to adjust the font sizes, and it is using the CSS clamp function that allows you to populate fonts by using fluid typography technique, setting control to set an absolute value for the font size with pixels. I don't recommend using this. Finally, under the advanced tab, I will be using the conditional display feature for the row layout, this one over here. And this allows me to display the row layout block based on a condition. In this example, the row block will only be displayed if the current post has an ACF enable set to true. Select here from this drop down list, custom post, custom field. The conditional source is the current post, and the custom field is the ACF label, and the compare field is true. And this is conditional logic within a custom post header template. And that's pretty cool to help you saving so much time. And what is pretty good is that you can implement this in a page, a post or a custom post type or with an hooked element. So this is the final result. If you found this video helpful, please consider give me a like or a comment. This is a simple step you can take that makes my YouTube channel grow in terms of how YouTube algorithm works. Let me know in the comments if you have any question for me. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.